From the streets of Melrose Park to the trading floor of the Merc, he's fought for every dollar he's ever earned. And now, with personal liberty and our system of capitalism under assault in America, he's here to seize back our rights from the government. With a cigar in one hand and a copy of the Declaration of Independence in the other, he's Sean Thompson. And this is The Sean Thompson Show. Trump won and you know it. Trump won and you know it. The fake news. You won't have to show it. Because it's true. Trump won and you know it. And I remember hearing that song. And thinking, I've heard this voice before. Now, I didn't hear it because I am a music aficionado. I'm not. But I would get in my in my wife's car, and she would often have uh, Christian music on. And I heard that voice before. And then I came to find out that is going to be my next guest. She is Natasha Owens. Natasha, thank you for joining me. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you for having me. Well, it's an interesting it's an interesting story. You're an interesting entertainer. <laughs> and I mean that because you kind of, you don't, you, you don't follow the path that was easiest. Probably you kind of follow a harder path. And I love that about people like you, because you do things because you know, they're right. Not because you're seeking the approval of other people. Isn't that true? That is correct. I've definitely traveled that path. Well, what's interesting is you go from Christian rock where you're, you're celebrated. In fact, you were, uh, you were winning awards. You were promoted. What has it been like now? that you have gone into like patriotic anthem because primarily what you're taking on that's wrapped in this is uh, the Trump one song. And I'm wondering how you're being received. I can imagine in different parts of the countries, it's completely different. (laughs) Well, coming out of Nashville, I live in Texas. So here in Texas, it's great. The Nashville market for contemporary Christian is very progressive. It's very liberal. It's very Democrat and they're very anti-Trump. So when I veered into the lane of wanting to put a spotlight on how great this country is and give back to our vets um, and try to reawaken our young ones at what a awesome country that we have with all of our flaws, we're still the lighthouse on the hill. I veered into doing an American Patriot album, and that was frowned upon in Nashville. Uh, I did a pro-life song that I put on that album, and that was really frowned upon from radio stations and promoters. I was too pro-life. I was too uh, controversial to be on shows. And when I realized that the song that was ending my career in Christian was uh, Stand for Life, I said, you know what? We just need to veer into a lane to start talking about these topics that are being censored and no one is allowed to talk about. I want to give a voice back to the voiceless. So we put out Trump One, which put the nail in the coffin for my yeah. Christian career in Nashville, <laughs> but we haven't looked back. We have put one, one song out every single month, one dropping yesterday um, to hit these different controversial topics of truth and biblical foundation. I think. Well, what I like about it, and I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I am not a religious person per se. I'm not somebody who would norm, but I would get in the car and I would listen to it. And I, w- I, I loved your voice. I love the songs you sang, mm-hmm. but I love the idea that the, the music has been put to some, to something that's so positive, the message and the, the tempo and the beat. And that's kind of what your music is. It puts a, 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 a friendly, nice spin where you're celebrating a tragedy of an, a, of the American president getting ch- cheated. And that's kind of what I love about the song, because it's so obvious to everybody. And I love the way in which you keep that character throughout the song, and you kind of do it about everything you sing. And now you've tackled a new one about the Second Amendment. Do I have it right? That is correct. That came out last month. Now, how did you do that about the Second Amendment and still... Keep it upright, because you did it with party people. This is a subject that is so aggravating, and in your video, I love it, because you show the most obvious scoundrels this country has, the inside-dealing rats that they are, and you keep it friendly and happy, and at the end of it, I'm still smiling. Yeah, we. Um, it's, I guess it's just the Lord giving us you know, inspiration into these songs. The Second Amendment topic, the press is always very um, curious as to why I'm still a Second Amendment supporter. I mean, I'm from Texas. We all are down here. But my uncle was murdered with a gun. Someone shot him and killed him. And my dad had an accident with a gun and accidentally shot himself. And he died instantly. 
But it's not the gun that's the issue. It's a heart issue. We have a crime issue. We have a, a heart issue. We have a mental health issue. Someone has killing in their heart. They are still going to find a way to kill. And you see that in cities where, where you're at, Chicago, where they have some of the toughest gun laws. Um, and the criminals are still running rampant. And so I just wanted to remind people with this song. It's called The Second Protects the First. People don't realize that the founding fathers were such geniuses in setting up this country that the reason why we have freedom is our Second Amendment. And the moment we give that up is the moment that we repeat history like Russia, China and Germany in the past where uh, they, you know, they had hundreds of millions of people exterminated after they rounded up the guns. That's what's keeping us safe. Well, and what's keeping us safe is the people's um, people like you and people who refuse to accept peer pressure to surrender yourself and have that comfort of servitude or slavery that the Chicago Democrats have or the people in Philadelphia. In fact, you know, getting ready for the show, I have to scour every article and I'm reading Philadelphia journalists who mocked and made fun of the idea that violent crimes in Democrat cities was going to happen, was shot seven times and killed over the weekend. See, that I find funny. Now, I don't know how you'd make a song about that, but the reality is you have to stay in, a, in an attitude that doesn't um, really drag you down because what we're facing is the collapse of the principles of our nation. And what you've done is really kind of miraculous. You're taking these specific topics that are controversial, you're putting them to music, and you're doing it in, in a joyous way. And I'm wondering, is that just how you learned how to sing from the beginning? Uh, were you always religious when you started singing? How did it come about? I come from a musical family, um, but I struggled with severe anxiety. So I always wanted to play a back part. I wanted to be in the choir, but on the back row. I didn't want to step forward to do a solo. And um, the tragedy of my dad actually sets the stage for what I'm doing now. I um, I went through a deep depression and would not be alive today if God hadn't crossed my path with music like he did. And uh, it pulled me out of depression. I was asked to be a music minister in the midst of my depression. And um, the pastor just said the right thing after several times of calling. And I went on the road that was a training ground for what I did in contemporary Christian of trying to give people hope and letting them know that God loves them. And so um, I still I, I struggled with going into this direction over these political songs because I've always been a restoration artist to help the broken and be a unifier. And to some degree, depending on how you look at this topic, these songs could be a division, right? Uh, but I convinced myself that this is what needed to be done because I wanted to put a spotlight on truth. Yes. And um, yes. See, so the division to me comes, Natasha, when, when good people start to think the only idea to get along with bad people or bad ideas presented by decent people is to somehow be wrong to a level they can control. It's called compromise. Yeah. When compromise is only something you could do with someone you love, it's not something you can do with the wrong answer. But yet you have society that push puts pressure on people to conform to mediocrity or failure. And I love the idea that you're standing in the wind like Lieutenant Dan and you're saying, I'm not going to do it. In fact, I'm going to make a career. I'm going to sing about it. I'm going to make money. I'm going to give a portion of that money to, to, to put my money where my mouth is. And you help people with money you raise through your song, don't you? Yes, we do. We give to different veterans. You know, I come from a family full of vets, but I never served. And freedom is the most expensive and important thing that we own, and it should be the last thing we give up. And we have to think of that for that and their families for the sacrifice that, that was given. And so I just want to help give back just to make, um, you know, I struggle with mental health and depression. These vets come back and they struggle with mental health and depression. So I'm able to connect with them on that level and try to help bring a little bit of God to bring them healing. And you know what's fun is that what you do is you take and we, we play your song here. And unfortunately, it's not a radio show. But when you hear this song, you give to people who are downtrodden by the government that is so corrupted and so so obvious that they're arrogant in their corruption. You take the Chicago, the good people trapped in the Chicago land area. There's not a lot that they're joyous about. There's not a lot that makes them happy. But the minute you hear the songs, and it's not just Trump won, it's it's the other songs. Party People is fantastic. And I just want to thank you on behalf of people who need to have that oh, exposure to patriots who are not afraid of the judgment of cowards and Democrats. So thank you for that. And I appreciate you making time. She is Natasha Owens. Where can they find out more about you? 
You can go to NatashaOwensMusic.com, and it, it is a platform that can get you out to, to social media, to tours, to merch, and to the music itself. Thank you, Natasha. I appreciate you making time. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.